fat tire e-bikes have become so popular this year and this really good news for consumers because we now have more choices for every budget. The Natto Folding Ox is in the low price range of around $1,000 but I still think it is overpriced as its offerings are disappointing. The Natto Folding Ox is a cruiser e-bike which is made for recreational cyclists living in cities. It features a classic vintage look with a low step-through frame, a curved handlebar, and an oversized saddle. And normally, cruiser bikes are designed for short trips around town, short commutes to work or running errands. However, the Ox is much more versatile and users can absolutely use it for uprolling or touring. This is made possible by the addition of an electric motor, fat tires, and front suspension fork. It manages to offer a relaxed and comfortable ride on almost all terrains. My posture when riding this bike is also more straight up and relaxed. In fact, I could ride the Natto for a few hours on urban as well as gravel road without feeling any discomfort. Since the Ox is equipped with a heavy steel frame, it would be very tiring if you don't have the additional power from the real hub motor. Although this just a 500 watt motor is still more than enough to have you ride effortlessly in cities. It also manages to tackle some low inclines with ease. My biggest problem with the models is that the electric boost is too powerful when I just start pedaling. This speed boost often surprises me and it could be dangerous when there are pedestrians or vehicles around. Even when I set the pedal assist level at 0 or 1, the model still kicks in violently to push the bike forward. A safer way to start the bike is using the thumb throttle to get the bike moving and then start pedaling. Then you will have better control of the model. The Ox is a folding bike, but the folded dimensions are not really compact because the handlebar can't be folded down. We just can fold the frame in half and there is a balance stand on the bottom, so the bike can stand on its own. Fortunately, it still fits in my car trunk, although I had to lie it down. The bike is really heavy at 75 pounds and it's really not easy to carry it up or downstairs then put it into my car. Therefore, I don't really like taking the bike during road trips. Another concern is that the folding latch doesn't feel safe as I've seen it open by itself a few times. Another issue is that the model is cut off occasionally when riding the bike. To fix this, I often have to turn off and turn on again with the key to reset it. I guess this is just a safety feature to protect the battery, but it happens too much and ruined my riding experience. The battery range is just average at less than 20 miles and could be lower when you use in full throttle mode. To conclude, here are all pros and cons of the e-bike. Pros Comfortable and relaxed riding Model is powerful enough for casual riding Good performing gears and disc brakes Cons Model starts and stops abruptly Bulky frame Overpriced Thanks to a few upgrades, the Cruiser e-bike has a lot more usages other than casual riding. 
Once getting used to the bike, I really enjoy it because of the superb comfort. It would be great if the electric boost is smoother. Overall, I think that the Nacto folding ox is overpriced, and we at Bike Folded only recommend it when the price drops to around 700.